on fourth down. Uh, give us three bold offseason moves and get us started with the Giants, please. Well, you know, I'd like to see the Giants be, be definitive about their quarterback situation. Right now, there's been buyer's remorse with Daniel Jones. Well, then move on from him. Go out and find yourself a veteran guy. Kirk Cousins is most certainly a possibility. Russell Wilson is most certainly a, another possibility, as is Ryan Tannehill. Three guys, I think, that could fit in an offense, okay, that, that Brian Dable can construct and use their quarterback's best ability. So I like that as a possibility. I really do. Uh, well, I like the idea of the Giants being aggressive at the quarterback position, to Ron's point. Uh, Kirk Cousins might be a little too aggressive, given the amount of money that they'd be committing to the position with him and Daniel Jones' contract. Uh, if I was Kirk Cousins, I'd also be wary of playing behind that offensive line, which is a huge problem. Wilson, though, I, I think is realistic because, as we've often we've been discussing all week, he is not going to command very much money. Uh, my question for that, I guess, from New York's perspective, is. Would you be bringing him as competition for Jones, and would Russell Wilson be willing to enter into that sort of competition? Yeah, and by the way, this is a discussion because Jones doesn't have any guaranteed money in his contract after this upcoming season. Okay, next, Ron, you have one for the Raiders. You know, you, you, you're, you're giving a shot to Antonio Pierce. Give him a chance to start with a clean slate. Go out, be aggressive in the draft, and find your quarterback of the future. You know, is it a J.J. McCarthy type guy? If that's the kind of guy you, 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 you like the best, go get him. Give your, your new head coach an opportunity. This is a very aggressive, bold move, I believe, because again, they'd have to move up in the draft to get J.J. Yeah, Ron, I love J.J. McCarthy as much as you do. I think there's four great quarterbacks in this draft. I think they really are gonna have to move up far because I think the loser of the Kirk Cousins sweepstakes, be it Atlanta or Minnesota, is gonna to try to move up. So I think there's gonna be a lot of competition to go get J.J. McCarthy. I think the obvious team to me that's gonna trade out is at five, the Chargers. They have a couple of needs at receiver or offensive line that they could trade back for. So I think be it the Raiders, Seattle, some other team that's in that um, 10 to 15 group is really gonna to have to be aggressive to go get J.J. McCarthy. Yeah, they have the 13th overall pick. Mel Kuyper Jr. has him going 12th in his latest mock, speaking of J.J. McCarthy. All right, you got another one, a bold move for the Cowboys Riverboat. Ron, what is it? Well, I think they need to go out and sign a running back because, again, I really do believe if they get better at that running game, that's going to really help their passing game, which is also very good right now, so it can be even better, I believe. But I go out and I sign Barkley or I sign DeAndre Swift or even bring Pollard back. But you've got an opportunity, I think, to really help your football team by being better in your running game, and it will most certainly make your passing game even better. Yeah, Ron, like, I, I like the sound of this because we know how much the Dallas Cowboys struggled in their running game. You know, Pollard last, uh, last year showed that he wasn't a guy that could be the workhorse type back that Ezekiel Elliott was all those years for the Dallas Cowboys. So, I, like, Saquon to me would be, I mean, it, it would be a, a great fit because Saquon is a three-down back. He can help. He can definitely help you in the passing game. And the, and the Cowboys, if they're going to go all in like Jerry Jones is talking about, what better way than hurting your divisional opponent and bringing in a top talent like Saquon Barkley? You love talking about the Cowboys so much, too, don't you, D. Woody? You just love it. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to keep it going. Uh, Dak Prescott is expected to get a contract extension this offseason. Uh, Ron, do you think he needs to take a team-friendly deal? You know, I think that would be really good for him and for the Cowboys because, again, not only do they have to improve on the running game, but by doing that, you got to do what? you got to also help your offensive line. <clears throat> so, again, go ahead and do something friendly for the team, Dak. Help them out because, again, it will help you out <laughs> even more so and give you an even better chance to be as good as you can be. Well, listen, I'm a former player. Those are like blasphemous words coming from a former player. I don't want to hear right. team, team, team friendly, especially when we see all these guys getting released right now. So, listen, Dak yeah. Prescott has earned what he, what he's, uh, this situation. And, you know, it's up to him to, des to decide whether, hey, I want to, you know, go, go cutthroat or, or, you know, get the team back a little bit or something. Well, I, I think, again, to me, it's about – making sure you're able to have the players around you. you got to have guys in front of you protecting you and blocking. Yeah. you got to have playmakers out there. And what better way than to have a friendly – I'm not talking about, you know, bottom basement bargains. <laughs> I'm talking about making a good decision, a good sound decision that helps yourself but also helps your team. Uh, I'll say this. Is Dak Prescott getting paid to be the GM, too? Because that's their job. Like, their job is to fill out, <laughs> figure out the salary cap and stuff like that. His job is to go out there and quarterback the Dallas Cowboys. 
Uh, greatest quarterback deal of all time as it pertains to the team, Patrick Mahomes. All right. Just